Okay, hello, uh, a D8 uh, customer. Some of the customer said uh, after using the printer for some while, the platform become a little bit jam. It's not so smooth moving down and up. And the sound of the printer, maybe you can hear the crack sound. So the easiest way is that uh, there are eight bolt lock, locking bolt. So you can retight. Uh, check. You can lose uh, every um, eight, eight bolts by half term. Okay. Oh, yes. Only a little bit. And you can try. So if it's very tight, too tight, so two of the um, bearing will be too tight with a low tolerance, will, which will jam. So when we tighten it and then move half turn back, so there will be little space between the bearing and uh, our machining parts. This will allow, provide the tolerance for the, uh, for the moving, during moving. So, okay, you try. So it will become smoother. Uh, if you are using the D8, uh, if you have, you can feel the jam on the Z axis. So you need to move the platform up and down. This is uh, we, we we are adjusting in our factory. So we will show you how to adjust the two rails to make sure they are parallel to each other. So first, we will lose this one, lose the eight bolt. and make sure they are smooth, then we tighten it. Uh, make sure it's uh, not exactly very tight. This will jam the bearing. So when you uh, push, uh, turn your, your Allen key tight and you, you need to turn half, half turn back. So it will be still have some space. Okay, then you move this up and down. If you feel anywhere there's a little jam, you need to readjust the two reels. So you need to lose the uh, reel, two reel. You need to uh, uh, lose all the belts. It, it, it cannot be too loose, just uh, two or three turns. So, so this reel can move a little bit. And then you try to move the uh, platform up and down for several times. So the two reel will realign by this uh, bearing. After that, you tight, you tight two of the belts, then you move again, make sure they are tight, then you relock the second group to both. Try to move this up and down, and then the legs to two bolts, and then you, you move up and down. Okay. So the last two bolts. All right, so the Z-axis is very smooth now. Okay, thank you for your watching.